the Brushflies, welcome back to my channel, Brushfly NUA. If you're new here, hi. I'm Mercedes, I'm the face behind Brushfly NUA, and if you are new, remember to hit that subscribe button. If you're not, welcome back. So, if you've been here before, yes, I have kind of changed my intro picture video thing. I use Power Director to edit my videos, and they have recently come out with new templates for video intros so I have decided to use one I hope the camera angle is okay I'm looking in the mirror which is in front of my camera um, yeah because I'm using something different to hold my tripod today because the folder I normally put it on I've used for something and I've put it somewhere else so yeah tangent anyway let's um jump into the video we're actually here for so i do have my little notebook with me today because i have taken some notes so i went super drug the other day as you do and um i noticed that flower beauty by drew barrymore everything was reduced it all had the yellow stickers on you know it was all heavily discounted and i said to the girl i was like oh what's happening with flower beauty and she was like oh it's leaving superdrug i was like oh okay and i would not tried it before but i think she assumed i had and that i really liked the brand so she was like oh and i'm not sure where you'll be able to get it from because superdrug is the only place in the uk that i'm aware of that sells flower beauty so that has led me to think is Flower Beauty leaving the UK? If it is, then there is a bit of a thing happening at the moment because I know that Smashbox and Glam Glow are also leaving the UK and Ireland. Is it a thing? Are we gonna see more makeup brands leave? So because of the fact that Flower Beauty is potentially leaving the UK, I did grab a couple of products. So I grabbed one of their blush bombs in the shade Bubbly. It looks very cute, baby pink. And then I also grabbed an eyeshadow palette. This is the Sugar Rush one. It's very pink and purple in tone. Very my jam. So yeah, I decided to grab these and I thought, why we chat about if Flower Beauty is leaving the UK? I could test these out, we could see how they work, and yeah, see what's going on. So first up I'm going to use the Flower Beauty Blush Bomb. So it says it's colour drops for the cheeks, I've got the shade Bubbly. I have seen Kelly Gooch use this before, which was maybe influenced my shade purchase. So I mean it kind of matches my jumper today. Yeah, maybe. So I am going to put swatches up on the screen um, of this. So I do actually really like the packaging of this. It is actually a really nice packaging for a drugstore brand. Like, Flower Beauty is not too expensive. Um, you know, some brands you look at and you think, I'm not buying that. It's ridiculous amount of money. Whereas I think Flower Beauty, they've actually got... A nice range but at quite an affordable price. I quite like this applicator. It just it looks more expensive and more bougie than what it is. So I'm gonna see if I can go ahead and just apply it to my cheeks. I have already done primer, foundation, moisturizer, concealer, bronzer, bit of highlight, all that jazz. So it's quite a, well, I was going to say it's quite a liquidy product. It is a liquid product. It's a liquid blush. But it is a very, I want to say more of like a, a watery texture than overly creamy. Like applying it to my face now, it feels kind of damp, if that makes any sense. My hair is getting everywhere. I decided to trim my fringe, as you do. And um, yeah, I just keep finding little fringe hairs everywhere. 
Okay, so that is that side on. And you don't really need a lot of this product either, it, like a little bit goes a long way. But what I have found, because I have used it a couple of times now, if you like that really dewy makeup look, then this is definitely going to work into that routine. Definitely gives you a nice dewy blush to the face. And I actually quite like the tone as well. Like. I'm not normally the biggest baby pink blush fan, but this actually seems quite nice. And I really hope my camera angle is okay. <laughs> I'm really sorry if it's not, and you're sitting there going, what the hell have you done? So, ooh, might help if I actually put the lid on properly. Um, I'm just gonna add a bit of powder. Just going for the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD powder, just because I haven't powdered yet and it's quite hot though. I mean I say it's quite hot, um, we've had a heat wave in the UK, that's been and gone but it's sort of left like this muggy, humid, blah weather. Um, so a bit of powder won't go <laughs> amiss. Okay, so I do really like the blush, I think it gives a very nice flush to the face. Like I said, good for quite a dewy finish. So, as I was saying about Flower Beauty leaving the UK. So, first of all, we found out that Smashbox and Glam Glow are leaving. They are leaving, I think, on the 29th of September 2022. Their reasons weren't really reasons. They've just sort of said an accumulation of challenges has sadly left them, you know, having to leave. Um doesn't really give much but at least they have let people know. Flower Beauty on the other hand I've tried reaching out to them on Instagram I have heard nothing I have seen nothing on their website or Instagram pages about them leaving the UK yeah so I actually really like Flower Beauty's sort of motto about makeup they are kind of they think you're already pretty but you're kind of going to enhance your look with their makeup and they are cruelty free which is a bonus if you are a makeup lover that wants to be more cruelty free it is a shame that they are leaving because i have to say like i'm gonna show you the eyeshadow palette in a minute but it is a really good product and the blush as well like i've only tried two products but i think they are really really good and i don't know why they weren't raved about more in the uk i don't know why more of us didn't pick it up but I guess as well it wasn't overly advertised it wasn't overly shown to us in the UK that it was here unless you're a fan of Drew Barrymore whose brand Flower Beauty is um I guess you're not gonna really know it's around I mean I kind of touched on this in my brand makeover video for Honest Beauty and I did mention that maybe they should do a bit more advertising maybe in the UK. I don't know how it is in America. Maybe in other countries they do a bit more advertising. But in the UK there's nothing. It's like radio silence on those brands. So maybe that's why Flower Beauty is leaving. Maybe they've not had the custom base they thought they were going to have. And Flower Beauty has not been here for very long in the UK. I think they landed on UK shores around 2019, which means they have had COVID to deal with in the UK. So yeah, people weren't really going out, people weren't really buying stuff. And then we've had the cost of living crisis, which I know pretty much the whole world is having at the moment. But you know, people are not spending their money on products. So maybe that's why. We have had Brexit as well, maybe that's had a play and that's why a lot of brands are deciding that the UK is no longer feasible. Maybe costs have risen and keeping brands over here is more expensive, I don't know. So let's have a look at the eyeshadow palette, I'm going to put on the screen some swatches and I have played with this already, I have done two eyeshadow looks 
because on the back I think it's actually really cute. You've got some instructions of eyeshadow looks to do and then it has the shades numbered down the side so you can sort of correspond the picture to the number to the shade and I actually quite like that. I think it's very beginner friendly. If you are new to makeup or your skills are not quite where you want them yet I think a palette like this is really good where it shows you what shades to use in what order to use them but you know also if you are actually quite you know advanced makeup enthusiast or makeup lover and you already know how to play with makeup even then some instructions on the back can give you new ideas and new looks to create so I actually think that's a really good thing to do I do have to say the shades in here are really really good the mattes are super buildable they blend really nicely very pigmented the shimmer shades as well they apply with a brush so you don't have to use your finger you can use a brush use a finger if you want and it does say on the back as well that you can wet these down to make them more intense if you really want to the only thing I will comment on is like this shade over here is broken I had it in my handbag <laughs> probably not the safest place but when I went shopping I bought the two products I didn't want to buy a bag my handbag wasn't that full I put them in there and by the time I got home there was like um, a little bit broken on this one which obviously made the palette a bit messy so I think it is quite a delicate palette I don't think it's necessarily one that's going to be great for traveling with but in saying that the color range is fantastic it's beautiful so I think we need to jump in and play with this. So I'm going to prime my eyes using my trusty P. Louise base and I might actually scooch my chair in. Okay, so my eyes are primed. And another downside to this palette, <laughs> which I don't really want it to be a downside, but it, it doesn't have a mirror. So I'm going to have to use my trusty friends and revolution mirror. Um, so yeah, I've done looks one and three. So I'm going to go with look two, which is called Smoky Sugar. So the first shade is number two. So I'm going to grab the brush that comes with this palette. I do have to say I really, really like the brush. It's very small, very dainty, I like the handle, but it's got enough like fluffiness to it that it blends out pigment really nicely, but it's dense enough that it packs it on as well. So I really like the brush. I kind of want to just go buy more eyeshadow palettes just for the brushes. <laughs> so number two is this sort of very shimmery light shade here. Okay, so it's come off as like a shimmery pink, but I think that's because I've been playing with this palette and I did a pink look yesterday. I think there must have still been some pink pigment left on the brush or maybe where that shade broke. Um, a bit of the pink has gone into that colour, but yeah, I'm not mad about that. I like pink. I mean that is actually a really pretty shade, I hope you can see it as well as I can. It's really nice and sparkly, it kind of has like a magic glow to it. So the next one is 8, which is this very deep shimmery berry tone. This is to do it like up here.
And I might just go back in with some of that first shade because I don't want it to be too dark. I know it's meant to be like a very smoky eye look, but I have quite sort of small eyes and I think that might make him look a bit smaller. I don't even know if that's even, <laughs> but I can always even that up in a minute. So the next shade is five, one, two, three, four, five, which is this sort of like golden shimmery shade. But I might actually grab my concealer, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Okay, so that is the concealer on. I wanted to do that just because I kind of feel it gives the other colours a chance to pop a little bit more. So yeah, it was shade 5. I'm going to take another brush. This is just a number 7 brush, which I like to use to pack on colour. Okay, and then the next two shades are number two and number seven, but I might go and do the outer corner shade first, which is number seven, which is this really pretty shimmery magical purple shade. And just apply it to the outer corner. I don't know if it's good with that brush. I'll try the other brush. No, I think I like the other brush. The last shade is number two again, but I'm going to take that number seven brush again. I don't know how to use my finger actually for a little bit. Okay, that is that apparently. There is some fallout from the palette. Um, I do have to say that maybe this is maybe not my favourite look from this palette, but it is actually quite a pretty look. It's very glittery, shimmery, heavy today compared to the other two looks that are a bit more matte. Um, but it's not a bad eye look. Like, I think once I've got mascara on, I will feel a bit more happy. Um, but before I do that, let's just talk a little bit about Flower Beauty's story. Because every brand has a story. Every brand has a place where they came from. So, Drew Barrymore, obviously, is a stunning actress. She is amazing. She's been an actress since a child. So that meant she grew up in a makeup chair. And she learned all about cosmetics from the best makeup artists that were on the set. So, you know, she had a good chance at getting to know how to understand makeup and her skin, 
and how things work. And Flower Beauty is her way of sharing this passion and the tips and tricks and hints she has picked up and learned along the way. She founded it in 2013 on the idea that everyone everywhere deserves, the l deserves to love the way they look. Flower Beauty has been on a mission to offer prestige quality formulas in innovative, I can't say that word today, innovative packaging at an affordable price since day one. And it is currently found in the US, Canada, Mexico, UK and Ireland. Um, I'm pretty sure I read somewhere that Flower Beauty has already left Canada. And now I'm pretty sure it's left the UK and Ireland. Um, you know, what is going on? Is it leaving? It seems like it definitely is leaving the UK, which is very, very sad because the two products I have tried, I've really, really enjoyed. And I think if I had the money, <laughs> I've spent my monthly budget already, so I can't go buy any more. Um, if I had the money, I would go stock up because I actually think this is really, really good. So I think if you live near a super drug or you like Flower Beauty and you're worried that they're going, I would go stock up while it's all discounted because you never know when you might be able to get it again. It does make me wonder, with these brands currently leaving the UK and Ireland, what the future holds for makeup in the UK and Ireland. Like, why are so many brands leaving the UK? It must be because of costs. I mean, most brands are not giving much of an indication as to why they're leaving. It's just, we're struggling. We're leaving. We're going back to the US. Um, you know, are we going to see more leave? Are we then going to become a bit of a country like Australia? Because I watch a lot of Australian YouTubers. I watch Halio. I watch Cat. They're the beauty news girls. I love their channels, but they always say how... Makeup can be quite hard to get hold of in Australia. Certain brands are very difficult to get hold of. If you want to get them shipped in, it costs a hell of a lot of money. Are we going to start seeing that? And like over there, drugstore brands are really expensive. Like to us, a drugstore brand is cheap and cheerful. Like you can go to your local supermarket, pick up a cheap and cheerful brand. Whereas to them, some like drugstore brands are high-end price points for Australia. So... Is the UK going to kind of turn into that? Are we then going to struggle with makeup brands? We also have like the likes of uh, REM Beauty from Ariana Grande. That is going to be coming to the UK very soon in Selfridges, which is amazing. But is it going to last? Is it going to stick around? We've recently had Kylie come to the UK again. Is that going to stay? Is that going to last here? I have no idea. So I think I now need to apply some mascara, completely finish this eye look and see my final thoughts. Okay, so this is the finished makeup look with mascara on. The mascaras I used today were the MAC Stack Mascara and the Lessence, Lessence, Essence Lash Princess. I just managed to put the words together. Um, mascara really like those two at the moment which is fab because i've really struggled with mascara lately but my final thoughts on flower beauty their products well the blush and the eyeshadow palette the blush i really really like i think it definitely gives a nice natural dewy finish to the skin it's great for those no makeup makeup days or if you are someone that likes to wear quite minimal makeup i think this is great a really nice formula the eyeshadow palette i definitely like the look better now i have mascara on i think mascara has really pulled it together um i do like the instructions on the back on what looks to create and how to create them but yes this one is a little more on the shimmery side than i would normally do like i love glitter and shimmer on my eye don't get me wrong but i normally like to use mattes and then like have a shimmer in the middle or you know you know what i mean I like to play around and have a bit of both, but I do like the formula in this palette. Um, it's just a really nice berry toned palette. 
nice purples, nice pinks, a few nice golds in there to break it up. I think it's a really nice palette. I think it's very beginner friendly. And that is actually how I feel the brand is. Flower Beauty is a very beginner friendly brand. The eyeshadows have very nice pigmentation to them, easy to use, easy to blend. I don't think like you can make mistakes with this. The blush as well, it's very easy to blend out. It sort of melts into the skin. It just sort of blends away really nicely. So definitely think for a brand, you know, if you're looking for something and you're just starting your makeup collection, I think this is a really good brand to go with. I'm so disappointed it is leaving the UK. If I'm at Superdrug, I might actually have to pick up some more because I really, really like it. If anyone knows anything else, please put it in the comments. You know, if you know whether it is definitely leaving the UK or whether it's not leaving the UK. I mean, at the moment, all I can find online is that it's leaving Superdrug and Superdrug seems to be the only place in the UK you can get it. So in my eyes, that means Flower Beauty is leaving the UK. I don't want it to because now that I've found it and tried it, I love it and I don't want it to go. And I think that's so sad. If it is leaving the UK, it's so sad. But the fact that so many brands are, what is going on with the UK and makeup at the minute? So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please comment down below. What are your thoughts and feelings on Flower Beauty? Have you tried anything? What should I grab before they finally disappear from Superdrug? But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.